everyone welcome back so today we have a special video for you guys we're actually in the wrong park we are at Disneyland right now we are about to try some banana beignets and a mint julep the banana beignets are seasonal and they come with a creme omelette and then maybe we're just gonna hang out here we're actually at what's it called pelicans pelicans uh, Pe landing yeah pelicans landing and then from there, we're, we'll probably just hang out here until our reservations because today we are building, well, actually today, we are going to the World of Color dessert party. So I'm quite excited. Yes. I don't know why we're having sweets and then sweets, but <laughs> it's okay. I've been wanting to try the banana beignets, but I'm, I'm a little skeptical if they're gonna be kind of gross because sometimes like artificial bananas are kind of gross. So we'll see. Okay. And there's other reason. For the beignets. Oh yeah, because I'm wearing my Port, Port Orleans beignets. This is one of the resorts in Walt Disney World on property. I've only been to the one in Riverside and I try to stay away from merchandise from hotels or resorts that I haven't stayed at. But I've, I've stayed at the Riverside one so I figure this okay. Because this is the other one. This is the, the French Quarter and then, I, then you have Riverside. But they're both called Port Orleans so... So it counts. It counts. 50%. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do taste bananas. Oh, Is it good? Banana. So the beignets by itself, does it taste like banana? Mm-hmm. Flavor on it. Gotcha. But it actually does taste really good. This. Mm -hmm. So this is a good one to try. Mm -hmm. You know, do you believe that you need the uh, caramel sauce with the banana mm -hmm. in order to be the? Mm -hmm. It's good by itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because sometimes some the the beignets needs um. Okay. Sometimes the venues needs um, the sauce to be complete. That's really good. Mm. All right, guys, for a very unorthodox introduction, we are here at the Harbor Gallery. So, Yali. Yali? Mm -hmm. Not very gully of you to say that. <laughs> no joking. Mm -hmm. So, you have the Pelican Punch. Mm -hmm. Just needs a little melon rum. That would be perfect. And we lost her. Anyway, we have the the beef combo. Steak. Steak combo, my bad. We have a steak combo here. And you just have a first. And we have the lobster mac and cheese. If you notice, we, uh, we kind of started eating them. And the ring freeze away. Yep. So, uh, how is the steak combo? You know, I was, I was thinking it was going to be the same steak combo from the brand. It's actually not. I don't remember if the steak gumbo had rice in it. Um, only the, the steak gumbo from Cafe Orleans had rice. Because this one has rice and it's, it has a little kick to it. There's a little spice in it, which yeah. I love. It doesn't, it's not as hearty as it would from the brand. I think we're have like big chunks of steak. But it's actually really, really good. And I was craving, sorry, my hand getting in the way. I, this is the piece of steak. And if you hear that, it's because they're preparing for Fantasmic and behind are the rafts coming back and forth, bringing all the cast members because um, they're fixing everything. Yep. But I was craving the lobster mac and cheese. Oh, it hit the spot. It's nice and spicy. Yes, I received that kick too. <laughs> it's so good. I was craving it so bad. Mm -hmm. Chunks of lobster in there. Mm. Also, I feel like they changed the green too because I don't remember the lobster mac and cheese being that spicy. So you have your bread and bowl, and also your uh, huge tip. If you don't, if you want to take the bread home, um, ask them to put the soup or mac and cheese on the side. That way, your bread does get moist, and that way you can take the bread home. I was gonna ask you if they serve it like this, or you asked for. It, right? I asked for okay. it. They usually, uh, when you ask for um, bread bowl soup or bread bowl mac and cheese, um, usually they pour it inside the bowl. Mm -hmm. They pour it inside the sourdough. Do you think that they give you more? No, I feel like they give you more in the bowl. Mm -hmm. The bowl looks, from the size of it looks more. So it's bigger? Yeah, it's bigger. We're not exactly at the right part where we're, we're going to go and film. But yes. We 
we, we needed dinner before we went and stuff ourselves with yes. some um, delicious treats. Yes. So let's eat up here and then we'll head on over. All right. Wonder where? Well, we made it inside DCA. Now let's go and find out where we have to go and check in. So we were told that it has to be somewhere between the bathroom and that Eureka wheel. So that is the um, Grizzly River Run and the bathrooms are right next to it. So we're going to walk down this path so that way we can go and check in. Let's go and find out. Eureka! We found the wheel! And most of all, we found the check-in for the Wallacolor dessert party. All right, so here is a check-in. Here's a line. We have the dessert party at eight o'clock. By the way, guys, I want to let you guys know this is a shared seating um, experience, similar to like the skyline that we just did last week, and similar to the ookie boogie that we did last year. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna film it differently. We are going to show you everything and then after world of color we'll, we'll talk about everything we ate and what we thought only because sometimes it gets too loud with with the parties that are around us yes remember between the um grizzly river run eureka wheel and the bathrooms right over here and now we walk at a very fast pace we'll see you over there guys So we made it. We walked pretty crazy, didn't we? Yes. I felt like if you lost the, the leader, you, you were lost. Yes. But we're here. We have a beautiful view. So I think it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful view for, for uh, World of Color. Our plates are about to be served. Yes. Again, this is a shared seating, so we will be having neighbors. And this is kind of how they do the seatings. I believe it's unlimited drinks, but you could only get like two alcoholic, alcoholic drinks per person, something like that. Gotcha. We'll figure out more, but again, we'll talk more about it once we're done, and then um, we'll tell you our thoughts and everything. Very festive, sir. Yes. This is what we're here for, World of Color. Yep, and... Remember to turn off your light. <laughs> Very festive. Oh, yeah, and we get a wristband too. Yes. Cheese and crackers. That's why we have some sour cheese. But I need to need a drink first. Yes. Because these desserts are making you thirsty. These desserts are making me thirsty. thirsty. Mm -hmm. That's my punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I got sparkly wine. It's, fine. No, it's really good. It's actually it's very, it's very more sparkly than the wine. Alright. Alright guys, this is the rainbow spritzer. Uh, one thing rainbow is the sparkliness. Also I just think. All right, let's try it up. Mm. Not bad. They're very soft. So apparently this one does have tequila on it. Um, that's some nice crunchy stuff because of the uh, the stuff from the sprinkles. Oh, it's not bad. It's this alcoholic drink. Also, the sparkling one is an alcoholic drink. You are limited to two alcoholic drinks, but the rest of the stuff is unlimited. So sodas, coffee, or chocolate are unlimited. All right, let's come to the show.
So the World of Color dessert party is $89 per person and it is a prepaid event. Again, you, you get charged, which means that you get charged on the day of the booking. Now you can book this through the app by searching World of Color dessert party or you can go on the Disneyland website and book it there. They have two shows running, one at 9 and then one at 10.15. So make sure that when you go book for them, you book for the one you would like. Now, right after World of Color, they do have the fireworks, which is what you're hearing right now. So if you would like to see the fireworks, I recommend you doing the 1015 World of Color. Make sure you keep an eye on what time Disney California Adventure closes. Now let's talk about World of Color. So for our World of Color menu, we got seedless grapes. We got an assortment of cheeses. We got a raspberry filled, we got a raspberry filled shortbread cookie. Rainbow Crispy, Triple Chocolate Cheesecake, and a Blue Raspberry Bundt Cake. And all I'm gonna say, guys, is that the Rainbow Crispy actually had Fruity Pebbles. So it made it all pretty and, and World of Color looking. I think this is your party, guys. The World of Color dessert party. So worth it. $89, please. It is so worth it. I know that you only get desserts, you don't get a dinner, but the desserts are really good. And the view, guys, take a look at that view. Just take a look at that view. That was amazing. We got table 20. And all I'm gonna say is that view right there was perfect. I really liked it. I enjoyed it. I would definitely come back and do it again. And I can't wait to hear what my brother said. By the way, the desserts were delicious before I pass on the mic to my brother. The desserts were delicious. I enjoyed it. Now let's see what my brother has to say. All right, guys, for desserts, I did enjoy everything. I did enjoy the, the triple chocolate cheesecake, the blueberry, uh, blue raspberry bun cake. But at least likely I liked it was the raspberry filled shortbread. I don't know, I feel like underwhelming a little bit. Like it wasn't that, it was great, but it wasn't that great. I did enjoy the rainbow crispy, although very really nice. Like, it, like I said, it's very, you can taste the marshmallows, very fluffy. The drinks are also unlimited. Uh, only the alcohol drinks are only two per person. Uh, the sparkling wine is like sparkling wine. It's really good. Well, it's more sparkling than wine. And as for the the rainbow spritzer, it's really not bad. Like it's really soft and smooth. You can't taste the alcohol that much. And in the menu, it does say it has tequila, tequila, but it's not strong. You can't really taste the tequila. So the view was nice. I, I enjoyed the view. I think compared from the storyteller view to the third party view, I think the third party view was much better. As we got the high tables, do we have, um, there are some low tables, I'm calling that, because I can't remember what's the actual name. So I do recommend you take the high tables, because you do get a better view. I 100% enjoyed it. I think $89 for this this uh, dessert party, totally worth it. Again, just like my brother said, you don't get a meal, you only get a dessert party. And I kind of enjoyed this one better because you guys, I have a problem that I'm late to everything. I tried my hardest to be early this time and it actually worked to our benefit because we got there in time, we got to, to get in our seats, um, we got to, to take a look at the menu. It's a prepaid menu so we already know what we're going to get, but it's the exact, almost the exact thing we got for Oogie Boogie. Yeah, almost. Almost the exact thing, except they change it to like the different colors and instead of the... Um, and actually, we didn't get cheese in for Oogie Boogie. Yeah. No, we didn't. Cue the Oogie Boogie, bro. <laughs> yeah, because I remember you didn't get cheese, like you got more desserts, because I remember... Well, I was trying to think what... We got a spiral, like, 
super delicious spiral rice crispy. That was absolutely delicious. And I was thinking if we got something else compared to this one. But anyway, if you guys, if you guys want to see that one, we will link that video so you guys get to see it. Please do. We are hoping we're Oogie Boogie is coming back. They already announced the date, so we're hoping yes. to get another um, dessert party for Oogie Boogie. Yes. So we'll link this one. That way, you guys get to see what we're talking about. Otherwise, you guys just think we're crazy. Which what's up? We are. But we hope you enjoyed. Um, and again, guys, because of copyrighted music, yes. we need to separate the videos. Yes. So. You'll get to see the dining review or the dessert party um, review, and then we'll separate the the entertainment just because of copyright music. Yeah. Um, but all I'm gonna say, guys, the World of Color has become better. It <laughs> really wasn't one of my favorite nighttime entertainment shows. It really wasn't. It definitely has gotten better. I enjoy it now, and I really enjoy watching it. But the scene where Pirates of the Caribbean come. Whoa. It's out of this world you get chills with the music you get you get in like I don't know you get immersed with it the whole show is really really nice and, and it's amazing now mm -hmm. but that pirating I think it's definitely the best scene in the whole show I love it I love it yeah. and I've never seen that that ball of fire that just comes out yes. so close to us it was amazing I actually liked it so if you guys have a chance, keep checking the app, keep, check, keep checking the um, the website. Sometimes I know the things book up, but I believe this also has a two-day cancellation policy, which means you have two days to cancel. If you can't make it on the day that you're supposed to be here, they're going to mark you as a no-show, and because they already charged your credit card, yes. well, then you can't get a refund. But I definitely encourage you guys to go and check it out, try it out. Was this a prepaid or no? Mm -hmm. It is prepaid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they charge they charge the day of booking. Okay. So, yeah. And I believe they do it um, every day. I believe. Yeah. And we'll double check on okay. that. But also, guys, um, as we were walking, they, you can you don't have to necessarily do a dessert party to get a good view mm -hmm. you can also do the virtual queues but those open up i think at like seven and the other one's at 12. yeah but you have to scan into the park to be able to book those yes um and they do have like a special area that you get in and and they'll take you to your spot and everything so mm -hmm. those to start free because you do yes. it through the virtual queue if you don't want to do the, the dessert party. But in my opinion, I actually liked it and I recommend you guys doing it. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought it was excellent. Yeah. And also you get seats. So you get to sit down for 24 uh, minutes. I like the seats. I like, I like sitting direct to seats. Yep, as I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt tall. Yep, as I mentioned. Any final thoughts? No, it was it like I do? Like, unfortunately, it's behind a paywall, but like you have a good view of the world color. You actually see the whole area of the of the show. And I think where we were sitting, um, we had the speakers like right there because I, I actually felt that like it was louder this time. Yeah. So that was cool. All right, guys. So with this, yes, we shall say good night. Yes. And thanks for joining us, guys. Don't forget to check us out over at Cracking Over Every Bite. Don't forget the underscores on Instagram. We shall see you next time. Yes. Good night. Good night.